Hey gamers, this is Atlas bringing you a special Smash video. So I play Smash a lot. Con Artist and I play semi-regularly and have been playing so since we met. But there's one pattern that emerges whenever we play. I lose. Mm. Kind of a lot. I try not to let it get to me, but some players mm. get good at reading you, such as Con mm. Artist. And when that happens, you psych yourself out. I like to think I handle things with, with grace. Being honest, I could take things better. I've improved my game steadily, but getting tilted is a regular possibility that con artist, sporting as he is, never exploits or calls out, thankfully. But damn it, if it hurts sometimes when you come so close only get it spanked harder than Trump's approval rating. For those of you not in the know, to get tilted is a gaming concept popularly known from poker but used elsewhere as well, in which you get frustrated by a losing streak and lose focus. I also like to picture the electronic pinball games in which you shake the machine so much that everything freezes up with the word TILT in bold caps as your ball falls helplessly to the machine. But how might one not get tilted? My advice is simple. Don't give in. It feels like an instinct, but getting tilted is a willful giving up of one's inhibitions against aggressive behavior and even poorer play. You can get mad at yourself and that's fine, but express it more clearly. Put it in words, perhaps not always your direct opponent. But do not disparage them either, and always give a farty hist farty hist pump, a hearty fist bump. Wow! Unless it's a cocky hero player, then the fist bump can be redirected into his face. Keeping it to yourself, a la poker, is also worthwhile if you're playing competitively. But if you're familiar and friendly with your opponent, sometimes it's better to get it out there instead of letting it build up under the guise of pretending to be unfazed. That can only hurt you more. This is a game meant to be played for fun. You can most certainly get competitive, but it gets ugly when you both tense up. And yes, there might be a pop-off if you get a glorious yeah. victory, but don't let it spark negative emotions. Getting tilted or facilitating it does not allow for the players to play for their enjoyment or for the, to the greater extent of their abilities, and it's just plain unpleasant to witness. Smash as a series has been a constant friendship building exercise for me since the 90s and I absolutely have to reassert my own self-awareness in order to not get lost in the competitive pitfalls of this high energy party fighter. If I leave you with one thing, that is, the game establishes cinematics to highlight the moments in which the game ends, often spectacularly, so enjoy them! You might even give a good chuckle, even if the results are heartbreaking, when your Bowser gets slapped down from the heavens in merciless fashion. But don't ever let that discourage you from getting better and loving this game for how it can bring so many diverse fans together. And with that, I'm gonna sign off. Connor, grab the controller. I'm gonna clap some Ganon cheeks this time around.